Have you ever worked out and a day, two days, even three days later, you're still feeling the tickle? Delayed onset muscle soreness. The simple explanation is when you have worked out and exerted your muscles to a certain intensity, your body will naturally react in the coming days. After the initial tickle, when participating in whatever exercise you may be doing, you will commonly find a second tickle somewhere between 24 and 72 hours later. For me, it's generally the second day when the DOMS really kicks in and you know about it. Prime example. If on a Monday you've done a workout which involves plenty of squats or squat type movements, come Wednesday, walking up and down the stairs, you're feeling it. Getting up off the sofa, your legs are asking you, where the hell do you think you're going? As for using the toilet, game over. Thumbs is more likely to occur and be a little more severe if you haven't worked out for a while or are working out at an intensity level you're not used to. But even professional athletes suffer from DOMS and need to manage this condition in the right way. So what can we do to reduce DOMS? Stretch post-workout. When you've been working out, whether it be weight training, HIIT training, whatever training really, you are using your muscles in an intense way, which is causing them to continually contract and in most cases tighten up. Stretching post-workout will naturally help muscles return to their correct state. A hot bath or applying heat to any areas that you've been working will help relax your muscles and then for me, it's a great time to stretch them out. They're warm and relaxed and can be stretched far more easily. Jump on a foam roller and iron it out. This is not always the nicest of experiences, as rolling out a tight muscle or not isn't always pleasant. However, you will be real glad you did once the job is done. If possible, treat yourself to a massage and let someone else do the work. Post-workout, I wouldn't advise a deep tissue because this may take a little too much. But to have someone gently manipulate and stretch the areas of your body that you've been working is a great way to go and usually a pleasurable experience too. Do your thing and give your workout 110%. But having done this, know your body will react and therefore you have to look after it as your body is the only place you have to live. Stretch out properly. Heat will always help relax your muscles. Foam roll, or if you have the luxury, put your feet up and enjoy a massage. Be the best version of yourself. For more information, valuable tips and easy listening, subscribe and follow the links below.